need a demonstration, don't kill a nation. Gotta research for the right All I know is that I'm tired of waiting. Gotta fight back or get annihilated. Round here, it's a war zone. You either ride with God or you ride with Satan. Round up, round up. Born in the hood, raised in the slums. It's hard raised in the sun. With these shooters raising their guns with no respect or regard for life. They gon' shoot. Bang, bang, bang. And they sold they soul. They scars for life. All they scream is gang, gang, gang. Where I'm from, where I'm from. Born in the hood. They don't teach nobody this in the Bible. So like, when you read the Bible, you probably don't know who you are. When you hear the children of Israel, you kind of keep hearing the children of Israel. God said to the children of Israel, and the children of Israel is in the wilderness. From Genesis to Revelation's whole book, uh, the Bible is only speaking to the children of Israel. So if you don't know who the children of Israel is, when they get in the church, they read something, you think that God's talking to everybody about everything. He's not. He's only talking to the children of Israel. You see what I'm saying? So now, according to the Bible, out of what I just read to you, can you buy or sell on the Sabbath day? No. See, so now you learn something out real simple. Did we do a five-hour church session? And did I did I give you the ooh hot? Did you look good? Y'all look good. Y'all good. Church. Did we do yeah. or did we just simply just say, hold on, let's see what God said and read you a commandment out the Bible, right? It ain't take long. You see what's up there? Give me some, bro. It ain't take long now. I'm going to read you one more thing. I know I said you two. I'm going to give you one more. Give me, um, give me, give me, uh, you know anything about the dietary law or to the book? Okay. Yeah, give, give me that same thing. Give me, um, give me Leviticus. Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 14 and 8. Please get that. Same drill. I'm going to show you something that they don't teach in the church. the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 8. Watch this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 8. Watch this. And the swan. And the what? And the swan. What's the swan, brother? Oh, uh, yeah, now you do it. Okay, so the swan, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't even put our kind of light and stuff, so they might be at five. You know right now? Mic check, mic check. We were supposed to do this earlier, but we didn't. We just kind of went to the end of We're going to give you this mic check. Mic check, mic check. Mic check. Hold on, make me start laughing, bro. I was mad, bro. He like. Okay, okay. Mic check, mic check. Okay, so, so, so now look, let me, let me read this. I'm going to read this book. Now, this is a commandment out the Bible. Let's talk about the diet jail. I'll read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14, and verse 8. And the swan, because it divided the hoof. Now remember, what is the swan? You said you you don't know. So the swine is pig. Okay. So this is talking about ham sandwiches, chitlins, pig feet, pork chops, all that horrible food, which is considered a delicacy, I guess you could say. Yet chewed not the cut. Right. It is unclean unto you. It's clean. It is unclean unto you. You can eat the pig. It is unclean unto you. You cannot eat pig according to the Bible. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. See that? So out of those couple of commandments, what did you learn today? So for, for example, uh, we, what we just read, can we eat pig? Because you believe in the Bible, right? So can we eat pig? Did God say we can eat pig? We can't, right? Facts, right? I mean, just simple as that, right? Didn't take too much, right? So now what about the Sabbath day? Right, what? Ah, there you can say that again. Say that in the say that. Say that. Say that on the mic. Say that. Nah, give me that. Give me that again. Can't spend no money. Can't spend no money. Like, give me some, baby. Can't spend no money. You can't spend money on the Sabbath day. You see what I'm saying? The Sabbath day is the seventh day holy unto the Lord thy God. If you read ne Nehemiah 10 to 31, anybody bringing uh, vit victuals, anything to sell out here. You see what I'm saying? This whole place should be shut down, but it's not. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not trying to condemn anybody, but for those that do believe in the Bible, you are not supposed to buy. You see what I'm saying? See, so good. See, so 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 now you got the Sabbath day. You know you can't buy or sell. So when you leave out of here, is you gonna buy and sell, brother? Uh, uh, ah, come on, come on. Okay, okay, but how about this? How about this? Now I don't know your situation or how you got here. And how, I I pray to the Most High that um, you don't buy. Uh, since you didn't know, give me uh, Acts 17 and 30. Since you didn't know, this is what happens when you don't know. Because a lot of us didn't know this. Because they don't teach us in a Christian. You ever heard that in a Christian church? What? How come? Why? Do you, why like, you see what I'm saying? But is it? Now why? Why not? 
Exactly, man. See what I'm saying? See, so we again, we are the Hebrew Israelites, and that's something that we don't do. Anything that we say, we come out the Bible. You see what I'm saying? So uh, you got that? Read this. It's the book of Acts, chapter 17 and verse 30. And brought them and Zlaki, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said the verse 30. Oh, Zlaki. Okay. Okay. It's the book of Acts, chapter 17 and verse 30. And the times of this ignorance, Yahweh winked at. So at the time of your ignorance, because you didn't know about pork, you didn't know about the Sabbath day, right? You just didn't know. It ain't like you was like, oh, I just want to break God's law. You just literally came with LeBron. I don't know. Every time you, you didn't know, right? But at the time of your ignorance, Yahweh winked at. Most high gave you one of these. Because you didn't know. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. But now he commands you to repent. You see what I'm saying? Because see, now you have knowledge. You have knowledge on you. So now you know you can't buy, sell, or trade on the Sabbath day, right? And now you know you can't eat pork, right? Fair? Fair knowledge? Okay, so now do you have any other questions? Because I don't, I don't want to just take up a whole bunch of your time. But if you have any other questions about the Bible, we can go into this thing. You have any questions about this? You know what I'm saying? Because we kind of went into that a little bit. Um... What, okay, what, uh, one, one more question. What's your nationality? Ah, read that again. What's that, what's that say? What are the American blacks called? No, no, no. Read it. Judah. That's who you are, bro. So you are, your nationality, you're not actually African American according to the Bible. That's a byword given to you because of this. We didn't keep God's commandments, so the Most High put us in slavery. Okay, we can get we can get that in the Bible. We can get it later. Like I said, I don't have time. But uh, for not keeping God's commandments, the Most High said He's gonna put us on ships, send us away to a far nation, with nothing, tongue we didn't know, and they was gonna get us by ships. And when we got off the ships, they said they was gonna uh, He was gonna sell us. They they were going to sell us the, uh, from the coast of West Africa into slavery by the Caucasian race. Okay, and, and the Edomites, according to the Bible. You see what I'm saying? And all this came to pass thousands of years ago. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you're not an African American. You're actually a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know if any church at all that teaches this. This is why when I see you come up here and I said, You believe in the Bible? You said, Yeah, man. I said, Man, give me, give me some, man. He's like, All right, my G. So it's like, Now we going in. So again, what's your nationality? According to the Bible, not according to what everybody else says. According to the Bible, what's your nationality? Judah, baby! Woo! Judah! You want to take a picture of that? So yeah, you take, yeah, you can, yeah, you can take a picture. That's very important. Right, I want to say one thing. Yeah, you got something out there? Uh, now, I don't, do you know about buck breaking? Buck breaking. <laughs> yes, that was. Now, buck breaking <laughs> is, is a thing that they actually did to our forefathers in slavery. As you know, the so-called white man, there was, a lot of them was homosexuals. So, there was a tone, term called buck breaking. And how what they did was if a, uh, a slave was didn't listen to the slave master they actually took him to a tree pulled their pants down and raped them till they were unconscious so that was called buck breaking and what a lot of our brothers do today is sag and sagging is a actual sign that a slave in those times have been butt broken so when you walk around and you're sagging you're basically saying that I have been butt broken. That's what they did in slavery to our forefathers. So they made them sad to let other slave masters know that they got dealt with. You know, so I wanted to bring that out. So we we highly recommend you, you know, to kind of, you know, get that together. Because we're your brothers. We're not saying this to condemn you. We're saying this because we love you. You know what I'm saying? Because to the so-called white man, he looking at that. What if he know his history? He's like, yeah, look at him. Look at him. Yeah, he yeah he he following after his answer. He don't even know what that no, he don't even know what that means. They could be laughing at you, but the whole time we grew up, they taught they taught us growing up that that sagging was cool, but really sagging is fagging. You know, so I just wanted to bring that out. Right. So that's just some some good healthy correction. You see what I'm saying? Now, do you have any other questions about the book? Like maybe that you were confused about that you heard because in the Christianity church, everything that they teach is false. I know you're going to disagree with me, but see, that's why you probably would, uh, thought it was weird when you said, when I, when you said, I don't go to church. And I said, okay, cool, stay out of there. You're like, what? I thought y'all got the Bible, right? That's weird, right, that I said that, right? But do you have any um, specific questions to me about anything about the Bible? Maybe you always wondered something or kind of, something kind of tussled with your mind, anything like that? Okay, nothing at all? 
go grab one. Oh yeah, grab, grab one, grab one. Grab me one, man. So that right there has all of our information on there. You see what I'm saying? This is what we teach. We have YouTube videos. We are the nation of kings and priests. So you can spread that. I don't know if it's your, uh, your children or what may have you, but your family. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Pass this out, brothers. You know what I'm saying? Get, get everybody watching that because everybody needs to be woke. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of us don't know the truth of the Bible. All we really know is Christianity. For example, uh, man, I, you know what? I wish we did. Um, I wish that, like this image, but I wish we had the. It's easy to just flip it, right? Like, just take it out real quick. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's your sign? Okay. Okay, so now now you see this? Like, who is that? Why you tell me that was Jesus? Because he got the long hair. Why else? That's how he looked. Fact. Facts. Okay, so now we're going to read. Are you ready at the Bible what he looks like? So if you heard he was black, why why is that? Why everybody say that's Jesus? Woo! Say that. Say that. Say that. Oh, you're not gonna say that. Oh, okay. I know you don't want to offend. Okay, we don't want to offend either. But uh, you guys let me get that in Revelation. Yeah. One of fourteen. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse fourteen. This is the description of Christ out of the Bible. Read this. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were what? White like wool. They were white like wool, as white as snow. They were not dark. It was not dark and long, like how everybody portrays Christ to be. Keep going. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet unto like and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet like unto what? Fine brass. Brass is a derivative of brown. Everybody knows this. How brown was he? As if they burned in a furnace. As if what? As if they burned in a furnace. Christ was so black, he looked like the case of your PlayStation 4. That's how black the Messiah was. Look at everybody, look. That's coming straight. Did we read that out the Bible, brother? Right? So now, like I said, see, people do that because of Edomite supremacy. You see what I'm saying? So when we preach the truth of the Bible, people don't really like that. You know what I'm saying? And Exactly. Bro, give me some, bro. What you talking about, bro? You, man, you see, you got that zeal, bro. So I'm saying, so I got a, I got a free soul too. Yeah, yeah. So the reason why we have that uh that picture, right, is because they took our book and they did what they wanted to, and the Bible lets us know about that. And I wanted to bring a precept on that that proves it. And it talks about it talks about it in Apocrypha in uh First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 30 and 38 on what they did and how we got that picture so i just wanted to share this with you before you uh before you head out so let me get this preset real quick in uh first maccabees right this is very very important because right? we don't want you to leave here and then kind of still go into the same thing like you know what I'm saying? like the next friday is a saturday sundown we want you hopefully to remember and say hey bro remember what all the people israel they said they said it was it was Friday to Saturday sundown. We can't buy or sell today. And the Bible says I can't eat pork. Man, I gotta I can't eat pork. You see what I'm saying? We want you to actually keep the laws of God. You see what's your Christianity church they don't teach you. you know this is the book of uh first Maccabees, chapter three and verse thirty-eight. Then Lysias chose Ptolemy, the son of Dorim, Dorominus, and Nicanor, and Gorgias, mighty men, mighty men of the king's friends. Salaki, that's the wrong verse. I got it right here. It's the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid upon the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Painted what? Paint the likeness of their images. Painted what? The likeness of their images. Just like you said, brother. And so you got, you got, in a, it, not in a full nutshell, but now you have the starter, like the, uh, what do you want to call it? The, the starter kit, we'll call it the starter. Now you got the starter kit to go further in this truth being uh, you know coming out of the lies now, do you have any other questions for me about the bible because i don't want to like just keep you here but if you have questions that's what we're here for anything i mean i'm talking about because we here if you don't know specific commandments we're here to teach you commandments if you don't know something about what somebody said about christ christ said this what about paul uh jeremiah we got obadiah we have whatever you want to talk about or think about or something like i said i keep saying this over and over because you know I, I hope you just if you could kind of think of one, you sure you don't have anything? Because I was just, nah, nah, that's it. And then you just got it. 
Okay, okay. All right. Well, hey, bro, you're a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. What can you do on the Sabbath day? Can you buy or sell on the Sabbath day? Can't buy or sell. Okay, can you eat pork? Can't eat no pork, man. Fair enough? All good, brother. All praises to the most high, man. Yeah. Man, for sure. Any questions, call that, man. Like I said, there's YouTube. You can type it in and you can watch some more of our real good stuff, right? Oh, praises to the most high. You can give me that too. Give me a little 15. Bang that. You can bang that. I got two. Let's get two precepts after Luke. If you are an African American, Mexican, Native American, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Guatemalan, and so forth, you are part of the 12 tribes of Israel. The Bible was only written for you. The Bible has nothing to do with Christianity. It has nothing to do with Roman Catholicism, contrary to popular belief. It has nothing to do with Islam. It has nothing to do with Judaism. Alright? Hold on. My check, my check. I felt like I turned it off. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Got the fire echo on the You got that? the book of Luke chapter 15 and verse 10 likewise I say unto you there is joy in the presence of the angels of Yahweh over one sinner that repented over what over one sinner that repented oh praise it to the most high that's it I got another precept just for the get him up after 24 for the uh brother who was sitting up here we see I see that he pulled up his pants and he talks about, talks about uh, bug breaking To all those who believe in the Bible, today is the Sabbath day. You are not allowed to buy, nor sell, nor trade any of your goods according to the Bible. Not my words, words of the God of the Bible, the God of Israel. To the brother that was sitting up here with us, I wanted to uh, bring this precept out. So he knows if he, if he, if he left here and if he, if he doesn't listen to the commandments that the Most High gave him, then this is this is what happens. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Even his prayer shall be what? Be abomination. Now that's scary. If you don't keep God's laws, if you keep buying and selling on the Sabbath day, like everybody does, and a lot of people, it's a, a lot of times it's not your fault because you weren't taught this in church, right? So there's understanding that needs to be had there, right? But after you're told, right, that you can't buy or sell on the Sabbath day, if you if the next Friday to Saturday sundown comes into play and you stay buying a beer, buying food, buying jewelry, then guess what? Read that again. Book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Then that means your prayer is going to be actually an abomination to the Most High God. You feel me? Yeah, how about send y'all a shot? Yeah. Praise to the Most High.